Connecticut Light and Power is looking to raise its electric rates on customers. CLNP has proposed increasing its fixed service charge for residential consumers by nearly 60 percent from $16 to $25.50 a month. A similar increase on small businesses would raise rates by 45 percent. The uh, requested rate increase was quite uh, extravagant. Back in September, 70 Democratic legislators signed a letter urging the Public Utilities Regulator Authority, known as PIRA, to deny the request. The letter stated, in addition to creating a significant economic hardship on low-income residents already struggling to pay for basic necessities like food and utilities, this increase would essentially penalize residents and businesses that use less electricity or promote energy efficiency. If we ask people to cut back on energy consumption, they still shouldn't be hit with higher prices as a result of doing so. According to the Connecticut Senate Democrats, Pira released a draft decision last week reducing the increase to 1950. But many, including Senator Leone, say it's still too much. From the electric point of view, they, they need to make sure that they can maintain their equipment and keep it up to uh, the industry standards so that they can deliver uh, the service consistently and, and on time and all the time because no one can live without electricity given this day and age. But at the same time, their, uh, their past history um, in my mind, doesn't authorize the type of rate increase they were they were asking. On Wednesday, the senator held office hours at the Harry Bennett Library in Stanford to hear from some of his constituents. It's all people that are on fixed incomes. You know, they're uh, they're all trying to make ends meet. Um, and so anytime there's an increase, it's, it's, it's felt uh, quite heavily. And we wanted to make sure that people still had a chance to voice their concern uh, to me as a legislator that we can bring up to uh, Hartford and then use that as a talking point going into the next session. Customers can write to PIRA about the proposed rate increases at 10 Franklin Square, New Britain, Connecticut, 06051, or send an email to pira.executivesecretary at ct.gov referencing docket number 140506. PIRA is expected to make a final ruling on the proposal by December 17th. I'm Samantha McKelvey reporting for It's Relevant News.